So now that my wheel is nice and clean, Eric's handed it back to me, there are a couple of things that I do every day when I go to use my wheel. So basic oiling parts for me are the orifice and the shaft that goes into the bobbin. So I just take a few drops of spinning wheel oil and I put them down the shaft of the flyer. Then I put the bobbin on and I like to give it a little turn to just sort of work that oil around the whole shaft. This just helps your wheel run smoothly when you're spinning. Now on the Lendrum, this actually fits into uh, the orifice that is on the wheel itself. So the whole orifice is off. I always put a couple of small little drops on that before I feed it back into the wheel. And again, I give it a little turn to just spread that oil around. Now again, this goes back to what Eric was talking about, about how some people say when it's metal to plastic, you don't need to oil it. I find for me personally, one drop of oil in this part where the shaft goes into the back of the support just makes the wheel spin smoother and makes my life day-to-day -day life easier for spinning. So I always put a drop on the very end of that shaft so that when it goes back into its support at the back, there's oil there as well. And give that a little turn to get the oil moving really well. Everything else, Eric has lubricated for me, so I don't worry about that, but that is where I do my day-to-day -day oiling. And so I will do that um, sometimes as often as changing my bobbin every time I spin. I will put a little bit of oil on there. And um, every time I sit down to spin, if I haven't used the wheel for a couple of days, I will give it a quick oil just before I go. And it just helps maintain the health of your wheel and make it easier to spin on a regular basis. So every wheel is different. Every manufacturer has different guidelines on how to look after and maintain your wheel. Things like isopropyl alcohol and the sanding should not be done to every wheel. So any modern manufacturer, you can reach out and get instructions on how to maintain them. If you have an older wheel, an antique wheel, uh, a local woodworker can tell you maybe what surface it is and how to maintain that wood. The general cleaning, those guidelines go for every wheel and should be done a couple times a year. So the biggest thing that I always tell my students is that your wheel is a tool and maintaining that tool is really critically important to its long-term health. So that regular cleaning, that regular maintenance, all of those things will increase the longevity of your wheel and give you a tool that is going to last for a really long time. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you have found this video informative and that you have learned something from it. You can find us on Instagram as Crafty Jacks or on YouTube as The Inquisitive Crafter. And you can also find my spinning videos on the School of Sweet Georgia. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.